And on the face side, oh, they don't have a kit. This could get interesting if Navi are able to get it. Oh, they're running the same play. Yeah, it looks like it. So there's a smoke set up. Gonna be towards connector. Bit will take the kill there, dropping Twist, who instead of running to, to all the way upper, just runs straight down the underpass and gets trucked by Bit. Boom, which is still hanging out. Not sure if anyone is pushing. They've used all of the nades except for the single flashbang on electronic, so this is interesting. Carrigan goes down next, and they're failing the shot there. Broke, he could have been a headshot on simple, but it's not. All of Meister and Rain are left. Two versus five, and I still don't know that I'm 100% clear what the strategy is here for Na'Vi, but it's working. Yeah, yeah. I, if, they, if Twist did the same thing that he did before the restart, this could be a phase around, but it, it's, it's kind of a fake towards middle where they're finding if they can find some space towards underpass but then the main plan is to go towards b it looks like the, man navi are so confident in their fakes though they, they're so willing to send two people out on a fake as opposed to sending every player out on a singular mission it seems like that's just something that's a hallmark and olaf if he had a kit right now you would think that there's a possibility here but because he doesn't he'll just be looking for some kills maybe try to bait him out see that bit is worried because of that but he can too there's just the height there's the elevation that you can use if you're holding that angle. It's it's a strong hold, uh, so flash might have been needed. Well, they have picked up deagles, and the deagles on Dust 2 for phase were super impressive and stellar. Yeah, they could come back to have an impact in this upcoming round. We'll never, we'll never know if they could have made a bigger difference on uh, on Dust 2. They won a bunch of rounds, just you know, in this in the first half even. Some of the rounds were just deagle rounds. They just never built enough off of it, but it, it, it did get kind of close at the end. I mean, they they maybe almost could have converted it if they could have shut down the Navi economy. They're getting a chance right now to do it early on. A little bit of a peak there for Rain. Oh, and Harrigan again with the headshots. He was doing that on Dust 2 as well. Yeah, he was excellent with the scout, and he's looking to continue that. You see that he's posted up onto the palace. He's getting another challenge from Simple. Uh, but Boomage, whoa. Working through a smoke at Catwalk, Olaf seems to have a beat on this. He seems to know that this is a possibility, but who's going to give it up? Boomich, looking, and he gets the better of Olaf. And on the A side, Electronic 2 gets a kill of his own. The remaining players from phase are pretty close to A, and it seems like Navi are aware of that. They're rerouting themselves to B, but Brokey might beat them to the punch. Boomich is really low on health, so if he's too quick with it and runs into Brokey. Could be a two-on-two two pretty quickly here. 25 seconds. The bomb is making its way up to the A side. Electronic has actually managed to, to just creep his way across the bomb site without getting found by anyone or making any noise. What a great find this is. This is actually pretty impressive. Twist far away. All, as in, sorry, not all of the Boomich hiding down below. If Brokey makes any noise, Boomich is going to hear it. Yep, he's definitely hearing some of those steps. And now the gun as well. He's creeping wow. right underneath. Cue the Jaws theme. He's eating Brokey <laughs> alive. And Twist is on his own. One versus three. That actually legitimately looked like Walt. Like, he's looking right at him through <laughs> the wall the entire time. It was right on him. That's good. That's good sound, though. I mean, that's just knowing and hearing where that player is. Twist, though? Okay, nice shot. On to Boomich, he'll be able to take the MAC-10 forward, and with armor, this MAC-10 actually becomes pretty valuable in that if he's able to find a couple kills, perhaps it'll secure an op into the first gun round. This is not actual at finding map control on his own. It's something that is just a hallmark of star players when you talk about Counter-Strike, the ones that can just find space on their own. They don't need a strat to always go around them. It's just that they can do, they can find a tactical advantage for the team on their own. And around, you know it's deagles, so it's not like it's completely risk-free if you sneak into a bomb site, a lot of open space in there. But he just saw the opening and went for it, so well done. Not finding anyone in middle at the moment. A little bit of a fight there, but it's just a USP, and Simple's going to be charging in to take that kill. He's ready for more, but the Mac 10 like you mentioned earlier, with the armor. Without the armor, he probably would have been dead in that moment. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, Brokey finally mollied out of the position. They should have heard that. Now Bits on the entry route, and, but the pistols are doing a lot of damage for FaZe. It's just Electronic. All of a sudden, FaZe have captured this. Electronic has to try to juggle the situation. There's so many players he has to deal with, and he's having a very hard time, but he's able to recover in time to take down Twist. But does he know about Rain in the apartments? That seems to be 
the ace up the sleeve of face. He's aware that this is a possibility, but he couldn't quite catch rain. Kerrigan might just give this up. Yes, Electronic finds it. Phase. Look at that. Straight into double orb and an org and an AK that they stole. <laughs> what a luxury position to be in. This is such a great buy. I mean, this is better. This is a better buy than they would have had. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. yeah. This is really, really nice for FaZe. They are feeling good about this. But Navi are going to be buying back. They're going to still challenge this, and Olaf might get caught off guard. No, Boomich didn't see him. He actually scanned away from it, oh, but no. finally does catch him off. There's a trade from Twist, though, although the main hit is towards this A site. And Rain is so flashed, he can't see anything. Then again, no, they can't either. Twist set up that flashbang to help out Rain, and now he's getting a kill, doing a lot of work in the round here, Twist. Double kill and the flashbang to secure one. A bit unfortunate, but still, they are able to break the Na'Vi economy. Yeah. It's really cool to see this version of FaZe with Twisted Connector. I mean, on Liquid, of course, it was always a Legia Con. And now, and, and you look at Twist, and you know he has the skill to play that position. It's just that he never was allowed to. And now that he is, you can see how he is really, he's always been capable of being such a star on this map. Yeah, with, without a doubt. Yeah, it is cool to see him unleashed in, in that fashion. Pistols, no flashbangs, just a straight run, and there is an org and an M4 waiting on the other side. So they're gonna back it up. I was gonna say this should never work. No, and and Navi know that. They're out of there, and they still have electronic lurking towards Palace. This should be a clean one from from Phase. I can't really see any way that this should go wrong. No, not even the Deagle in play on the on the Navi side. So not that the, the P250s could obviously be dangerous, but at least you are a bit safer just in case you know they are uh, gonna get that tip tab on you with range. You're not gonna die immediately. Finding space kills through a flurry of utility, and I would expect nothing different for the first gun round here. We've got Boomich going along with Bit towards middle now, but the smoke at top mid isn't even there yet. Bit dies, and that that feels like Navi really looking before they leave. Yeah, that's a weird, and, and they said, oh, when a nade, Twist able to find it. I did not see that coming. They actually set up the nades in T-Spawn right away. They didn't even delay as far as I can tell, but they were just so quick to run in front and Brokey getting the kill on simple on top. A big double for him and Electronic kind of just on his own. What a, what a curious round. Phase though, I don't think they're gonna mind. No, they, they, they will take those kills. And yeah, challenging phase like that. It, maybe Navi wanted to beat the utility. Maybe they, but let's we'll see. Electronic pulls a back in style on the Navi team. Most of them in the middle. Perfecto. Bit of a solo mission over by the B side of the map. I watched the Carrigan take took a lot of damage. Could have been dead right then and there. But mid control is, is a really nice step in the right direction. If you're Navi and you're looking at this phase defense and you see. Kerrigan and Olaf both at B. Would you think to try to test that? I mean, I would I would pick that over Twist, Rain, and Brokey if I had to if I had to make yeah. a choice. Um, that does seem likely. The, I mean, the the problem is I'd probably want to try and I'd probably want to try and incorporate the catwalk into that play, but that gets real close to Twist. Yes. Yeah. But that would be the ideal scenario if I could do that in a in a in a fast way. Right. Right. We, I mean, we've seen some great plays from Navi in the past in terms of how they can get up catwalk and yeah. do it rather unscathed. I mean, Boomich just has such a such an excellent feel yeah, true. For, for getting up cat. So it's it seems like that would be a likely call for Navi. But uh, yeah, it, I mean, Maniac did mention just the complacency for Navi. It, it did come back to bite him in that gun round. They just kind of want to swing. They just think that there's a superior players. I think that's exactly how he put it, that when you feel like you're the better players. All of Meister with the M4. And let's see if they are going to be put to the test. Maybe now we have, have done a similar calculation as the one you were mentioning, saying it's either going to be that trio over at the A-bomb side, or maybe Kerrigan and Olaf over at B. It's finding the shot there, Brokey, right on top of the smoke, and he just slips out. Ooh, twist. Awkward spray in the beginning. Looked like his crosshair was slightly misplaced, but he still wins the battle against Bit. And now they're five versus three. Bromwich made a big assumption, and he wasn't right about it either. No. Every aggressive stance from Navi in this round was caught. Looks like the main hit was supposed to be towards B, but with all of 
the middle players dying. I mean, this is a a very one-dimensional attack at the at this point in time. It's uh, it's not looking pretty for Navi and and everybody from Phase capturing what's going on there. Nice shot from Brokey. Kerrigan's able to chime in and twist. Yeah, it was like you said. I mean, even though it was a little bit labored, he was able to get it done. Yeah, the, I mean, not that it's the only thing that they can do, but some of those fast B hits that that we're sort of you know hinting at. They just don't work as well when the CTs have this much cash in the bank. I mean, they have a lot of nades to try and slow it down. It'd be more fun if they knew that there weren't going to be Molotovs or anything else like that. It's a great setup. Two tech nines. I mean, okay, maybe it's a B exec. I mean, the, the way they're setting up, the, the way they're posturing. Maybe faking it, yeah. Yeah, Na Navi always like to put a spin on things, though. They, they rarely just go for those standard cookie cutter execs that everybody else does. And Electronic and Simple are setting up right side smokes together. That'll at least draw the defense a little bit. But, oh man, that's such a good read from Olaf there. Slowing down this play. Even though the right side smokes come out, he understands that Navi might be trying something. They might be trying to push from underpass. Again, an excellent nade. And Olaf is on top of this angle. Spots out Boomage. Might find Perfecto too. Good shots from Olaf. Twist, though, is the one to get, to get Perfecto. Yeah, he I mean, it's a very good sort of almost instinctive reaction from Twist. As soon as that fight breaks out, he just knows to go for it. And now he's just pushing his uh, his luck even further, which is amazing. I doubt if Bit is going to be checking this. I know we say that he's very experienced, but I would, I'd be outraged if he checked this corner. Why would you ever assume that someone would have pushed up here and Bit not looking like it either? A little bit of a surprise, and he gets the double. Nicely done on Twist. That's cool. Twist is 14 and 3 right now. <laughs> Ouch. That's not that's not a good sign for Navi, is it? No. This is this might be the fifth round in a row of five alive for phase. Oh. It's close. It's oh, happening. Simple. simple. He's jiggling it out. There is a firing squad. It's absolutely ridiculous. Alright. Now obviously phase themselves need to, to keep the focus, right? They all, they they cannot themselves fall into the same mindset where they think, ah, this is it, this is done. We're on that third map practically already. I'm sure Kerrigan will will really remind them. He's been leading teams for so long, and he, I, I, I don't think he'll let them get away with it. But still, that mentality can creep into even the best of teams, as we can tell. Brokey looking down into the underpass with Kerrigan covering his back, so a lot of trust in him to do that. Yeah. Oh, Brokey's pushing on forward. This angle is is very strong. I can't see Bit winning this. Oh, and Bit turns away. Oh man, Brokey misses. That is the first kill in six rounds for Navi. How <laughs> is that real? <laughs> yeah, and we'll we'll see though if Navi's able to convert it. There's still a lot of game to be played, especially in this round here. Bit, he's making his way up, and Navi are posturing as if it's going to be a late A split. Smoking top con, but the counter utility is excellent from phase. It'll, it will slow down a bit, but it still means Boomich and Simple can get themselves into connector. Oh no. Okay, Twist already used the Molotov. I was a little bit worried. He had one. It's on the A ramp there. I thought if he used it for connector, it would have been a nightmare. 25 seconds now on the clock. Kerrigan walking through the smoker behind them, and that's a huge play. Simple's going to be going down. Electronic and Perfecto left alive, but 18 seconds on the clock, and they are very low on health. They have the bomb site, but they're just a bullet away. And Olofmeister is showing up with 100% health, and he's waiting for it. Not sure if anyone's pushed forward. AKs are out there, and he's going to be slowly walking out, trying to find anyone that he can. A little bit risky here, just in case someone had picked up an AWP somewhere, but that's not on the, in the cards right now. Electronic is in shadow. And Perfecto was playing all the way at the back of the bomb site, And here he comes just slinking in. Olofmeister, is he going to be quick enough? That's the right pre-aim. And he takes down Electronic. Perfecto way in the back. And Olofmeister doesn't really know it. He's not checking for it either. He taps it, assuming that he's in CT spawn. And Perfecto is right behind him walking up. We do win. It's not convincing. It, it's so close. And FaZe, with all of the bank that they have amassed, they're not hurting for cash at all. They're back to a double op setup. Kerrigan is getting aggressive. And he, he has been hot. He has been looking really sharp with these snipers, but he doesn't hit the first shot. Yeah, but that's still a shot across the bow towards Boomich thing. Wait a minute, they have a top mid? You, It's hard to allow that to happen if you're on the T side. You have to do something about that, because if you just let them have top mid, 
a lot of what you're doing will just be readily readable for uh, for the for the CTs, right? They, if you go A or B, they're gonna know. So slowly, they can wait it out a bit, but I'm assuming they're gonna have to try and do something about it. It, it doesn't seem like they they have any inclination to clearing mid. Wow, Navi are. They're just okay with this. They're grouping up towards B, and it looks like it's a full-on B hit. That'll be Olaf and Broki. Broki finds the first. Olaf, despite the flames in his face, he is not able to get one, but this means it's all on Broki. He's already found two, and he dances around the bomb site, still keeping himself alive. The rotations are coming in, but Bit gets the better of Broki, although there is already a flank. Twist is right there, and Rain is fighting around the window. But there's a smoke in his face. Nice smoke. That actually lands right at the window as well. 28 seconds. Bomb is on bit. He's thinking about it. Not sure if this flank is still actually happening. And they're both going to be doubling up towards the catwalk. They might have expected the plant to be actually for that position. Not at the default either. And now they're escaping just a little bit. Wow. All right. Smoke in the middle of the site. That's making it hard to check. Almost walking into the gunshot there. That would have maybe been the end of the round. Rain and Twist, though, they both have a kit. Can they use that smoke for anything? Any kind of a defuse bit is going to get one kill. And Rain getting caught. Wing from the other side. It denies so much information in that two-on-two -two that Bit is able to just play what is seemingly a standard spot, but it gains so much value when the opponent is guessing. Yeah, they were having a really hard time, I think, even spotting where the remaining Navi players were. They, I don't think they had a read on what was happening. Didn't know about the bomb planting position either. You could tell that they Molotov the default spot. Bit scary moment here. He's alone. He needs some backup. And he's actually not even going to need it. He takes down Kerrigan. I'm shocked. I thought Kerrigan and Twist would double team him and just bring him down. And it would have been a 5 on 3 with... The rest of the mid just empty. That is a massive kill for Bit. The fact that he maintains this position means that FaZe is constantly teetering between positions. Twist is still unaware of where Bit is, yet the rest of Navi is grouping up towards A, and this timing might catch off FaZe. They have two players in CT, and Brokey hits the shot. That stops the Palace offensive, and he even presses on forward. He's looking for more, and there it is. Takes down Simple. Brokey just fighting behind triple. Rain chimes in finally, and that only leaves the remaining mid player in bit. And he's against because normally that's when you close the distance is when you you have those orpers cornered. You know probably this is the end of the road for them. They can't really keep fighting, and some of them can. <laughs> that's very very painful. Rain down in shadow. Now this is where you need an aggressive Brokey because if Brokey plays this passively and falls back into CT spawn to to keep that AWP alive, Rain is dead. So let's see if he's going to do it again. Smoke is going down. He's reading it. Yep, he pushes forward once again. He doesn't want to leave Rain alone. Counter smoke coming up into the palace as well. You've got to really appreciate this from Brokey's point of view. Rain, not quite sure where to look at the moment. Oh, there's the AK out and a big double kill. Brokey there to help with the rest. I, I love the fact that he did that. He didn't even hesitate. Like, Their defense is just still holding up so strong. Even though Navi were able to get a couple, it is still phased with a huge lead in this first half as they look to send it to a third. Bomb drop back in T-spawn as Bit falls to Kerrigan. Not that long ago, Olaf Meister had the other AWP in the B-bomb site, but he's back with an AK instead. Kerrigan, he did it with a scout. Nade going to be landing deep right on top of Boomich. Not a devastating amount of damage, but it is something to work with. And FaZe, they're moving around a lot, I'm noticing, but they actually don't have to do anything crazy. They're four on five, so... Yeah. Just take a deep breath. Yeah, it's, it seems like all the, the points of rotations for FaZe, where, they, where they're moving around, it, it's somehow not getting caught off by Navi. They're, they're just choosing the right time. It's like the, the whole defense on a macro level is just finding pretty much every single window of opportunity. But this one might get... No! Boomich doesn't get the kill on Kerrigan. What a shot from Kerrigan right in the face of the opposing in-game leader. But Kerrigan, he does fall to Electronic. This makes things difficult for Rain, but Twist is there to support him. And Twist just pushed... It's actually crazy to look at. Oh, Electronic has the most with only nine. And oh, is that a Miss Windows smoke? Oh man, Olaf is gonna be able to eat up Electronic there. Top fragger from Navi taken out in the final round of the half. And FaZe, they look to further their lead. 
sure they're not going to give this one up too easily. And it's going to be hard to take because Navi don't have a lot to work with. Just one smoke remaining on bit. And Perfecto, he's working with a scout. I know he's good, but it's not... Scout is not generally his weapon of choice. No, it's not. They've really, really fallen flat here, haven't they, Navi? There's... I don't... I mean, we... We sort of foreshadowed it, or I guess that the desk did foreshadow a little bit the the idea of uh, of the of the potential for Navi to cool down a bit. And Scrawny mentioning that too, it's turned out to be almost prophetic at this point in time. Navi just taking a vacation in the middle of the game, not the right time for it either. Boomich, this is the kind of run that we, we you mentioned it earlier. He's got a really good knack for getting in here. They haven't used it much yet, and it, and maybe he's lost the mojo himself. Getting caught by Kerrigan. Shot in the back. It's now a five on three. And all of Meister is going to be taking down Simple Man. They're wrecking them. 11 to four in the first half in favor of FaZe. That is a... Yeah, that's that's what happens when you play B. Twist, yeah. though, with 21 kills. Man. Outrageous. Yeah, he's going absolutely crazy. And FaZe, they don't want to slow down. They're going for a fast B play. Electronic is right here to find one. Yep, good headshot to begin with. Bit in the back. They have a good setup. Everyone from Navi is here. They needed to get an instant kill. Otherwise, the whole Navi firing squad were going to take them down. Once those USPs are in play, it's just not going to... ...very quickly on those kinds of rounds. Not overthinking it, not implementing too much strategy. And that time, it comes back to bite them. Now, we've got Simple getting a little bit of a boost into the catwalk. And he'll be the first to challenge Rain at mid. Is Careful now. Not working for him though. Yeah, don't stick around for too long. He's got electronic right there in the connector too, so he could have had maybe a little bit of backup. They were gonna get close. Simple gonna find Olaf Meister. He'd come up through underpass. That's a good find. Blumich ready for more. Oh, that's nice. I like it when people go for that from spray into tapping. I feel like that's a hard adjustment to make. It looks so cool when it works out. What? Okay. Okay. Fine, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's something that... It, it takes some composure to commit to the spray, or seemingly commit, and then just say, you know what, I, I can finish this off with a couple of bullets. Oh, oh okay, that's one. So, this is uh, not a round you can take lightly if you are not. Complacency, the word that Maniac used, is not what you want in a round such as this. This should be a round to keep your players alive. Maybe even upgrade one of the guns in the next to an op for simple. Complacency. That's just that's just maniac Swiss way of saying lazy. It's too nice. Yeah, that's that's actually true. It's too nice to say it. Oh no. Perfecto it takes a lot of damage. This is going to be on bit now to try to help out. I mean, he's up for it though. He gets a headshot onto Swiss. Yeah. And it really looks like Navi are in control here. And Bit can keep his focus on the B hallways because Electronic and Simple are behind him watching middle, so he doesn't have to worry about getting shot in the back at all, which is kind of a nice luxury if you are uh, trying to help out your B anchor. Brokey. One versus five. And this is just about more damage, not uh, really any anything to do with winning the round. No. Just... If someone somebody gives something up for free, he'll take it. But Navi won't do that. No. Hey. They are playing this patiently, as they should. Keeping up the crossfire. So at, a, at 11 to 7 is the scoreline, which is uh, bound to happen in a couple of seconds. Defense first. It's almost always going to be a mid-contest for the first round. And you know what? That's why Kerrigan doesn't call it. He, like, I see that. Yeah. He's uh, got a nade in hand to smoke. So Kerrigan, that's going to be a deep grenade that he's going to be throwing back in here. A little bit of a spray coming out. I'm just waiting for Kerrigan. Yep, there it is. Jump throw all the way in. They're pushing a little bit up underpass. Kerrigan is going to come join them, and that is some perfect timing. Electronic goes down. They have the bomb there. Further back from B. They didn't execute straight onto it, but they certainly threw a bunch of nades to suggest that something would happen over on that side. You see how the window over at the B is, is smoked off in towards the market. Still a four on four, and now it's a four on three as Bit will find the kill on Kerrigan. Still, the main push is coming, but it's a bit of a crossfire. Really well done from Simple. That's an important kill. Bit will follow up with the FAMAS to take down Olaf Meister. FaZe, they had something building in this round, but it kind of got taken away from 
bit and simple, just having a double kill each. And now Twist, 22 kills. I mean, he's only had one kill in the second half so far. One versus three for him, and he's walking into a crossfire of his own. Maybe a chance. Yep, he reads it well, but that doesn't necessarily mean that he can actually win it. And if I, he knew he couldn't take down Simple. Now, this gives some more breathing room to Navi. Simple wants to fight Kerrigan, and Kerrigan, despite how strong he has been with the scout today, he will <laughs> yeah. fall. I was gonna say, please, don't give it away like that. But yeah, they bring him down. A single smoke on Rain, primed already. Waiting perhaps for that one in front of them to fade, and then they're gonna go for it. And the other four are just deagles. Electronic is playing in a really awkward angle for them to clear out with deagles. I'm gonna try anyway. Nice shot for Molov. We'll bring him down after he dropped Twist, and now he's real close here. Olaf, he could get the job done, but Boomich will stay alive. That is so unfortunate. If he could have got that, he would have picked up the M4. It would have been a three on three, and a lot could have worked out their way. Rain is gonna be. Bit. All right, nice jump. Good little bit of movement to get himself up into the ladder room, but Brokey playing at the edge of the smoke, and he's not gonna miss the shot. They had a duel in underpass, remember, in the first half where Brokey missed a shot on bit in down below. So, so not quite a repeat of that, but still some good revenge, even if it's uh, 10 rounds later. They'll take it. Yeah. No smoke for window, though, means that electronic could activate. But it looks like he might be waiting for simple smoke to fade. And oh, simple, he does it all on his own. Two kills. Electronic backed off the angle, though, not able to capitalize off of the commotion that simple caused, although he does hear Olaf jumping in. This should be free for electronic. Now Boomish pushes towards ramp, catches Twist off guard. That was a pivotal fight, and he takes down Twist. But Kerrigan, he spotted a hole in this defense. He made his way all the way up Cat. He might not know about Perfecto. He's thinking about it. He senses something. Yeah, and he was stepping a lot, so he, he didn't want to risk it. And he has time to fall back. I've got to say, what an explosive play coming out of Simple. You're not expecting that. Just hiding inside of the smoke and comes bursting out. He nearly had the third kill, even you could tell. Carrying it down to 30 seconds. If he runs for it, oh, if he had a smoke, it would be just a bit more secure. But it looks like he's he's faking it for, what, a third or fourth time this round. Now he's into the window, but they're watching it. And he's going to be crawling through to his certain... And I'm sure that he's going to be continuing to contribute now that he has his trusty op. Scout back on Kerrigan, but you're right. The fact that Simple is, is back in the game is such a horrific uh, situation for FaZe. Ooh, a lineup. There's a return from Electronic. That is a good setup. That'll probably shut them down. Couple of Deagles left here on the FaZe side. Simple gonna show up to try and take the challenge to one of them. Flick not quite connecting, but um, they're not really afraid to take this fight here. Simple's just trying to be ready for it. Twist actually getting one. Perfecto is behind, but this is where Navi should be a bit careful. This round is essentially won, and maybe with that kill, it's right back in their hands. They're gonna get the job done. 11. Like the last time around, that was simple. Overperforming they got robbed. position. Yeah, they got robbed. They, they <laughs> even got the opening kill. And so they'll go for that space once again in a, a fairly standard default. They, they, they need to trust their default because it did work in the previous round, just they couldn't capture simple. Okay, well, they got the, the lean towards the A side of the map, so if they can keep them in control that they have now, We've seen it many times. If you can get any T's into connector and and you're executing onto the A bomb site, that's a recipe for for success right there. They don't quite have that at the moment. Olaf and Rain are kind of in the right area, but I, they need to get a bit closer before this execute happens. Surely. Yeah, they they need to be able to activate once the play comes out. Kerrigan doesn't have a smoke though, and Brokey he has one, but. The question is, where does he throw it in a situation like this? Oh, bit. He's actually just going. Oh, I can't believe it. All of Meister. He looked lost and oh. confused. Rain will pick up a kill on Simple. I'm not even sure if this is part of any strategy. They just won two fights, and now they're going to go because they were all in position to. Electronic will go down to all of Meister, and that means Boomich is on his own back here, going to get trucked by Twist. That's that's very confusing. That's a great response from FaZe, but I, yeah, I don't think that went according to their plan necessarily. The kills onto the mid players, yeah, they, they weren't necessarily the priority, but I mean, you're going to take it and FaZe will... But anyway, so, so do you think they can replay that strat or did they tip their hand a bit with what they were doing? 
Well, they're still able to get mid control from Navi. Uh, yeah. As, as long as. It's the first round in the second half after having lost seven in a row, and all seven were kills. No bomb plants in those seven rounds. So that, that says something about how one sided this has been in the second half in favor of Navi. They can't let them back in the game right now, FaZe. They must keep winning because otherwise Navi are just going to win the map and that'll be the end of it. We'll never see Ancient here, which is the third map if we can just get to it. And FaZe, I mean, I feel like they've tempted us. They've almost promised us that third map with how they performed in that first half. Yeah, that, that first half made you think this was destined for a third. Yeah. Navi has fought back admirably in this half, though. And they're maintaining a lot of control. The smoke at the bottom of Connector really slows down Olaf. But we can see that once again, this is a very similar play to the previous round with Olaf in underpass. Brokey, though, is the player top mid. And Brokey finds Electronic. That's a little, that's a gift. That, yeah. that is something that now FaZe can really maneuver around this map. And but they, they now they have to hedge their bets. Did Electronic take that peak because they failed to smoke in window? Because they did. So you almost wonder if, if Electronic just waited a couple of seconds, thought, all right, maybe maybe there's an opportunity and Brokey used it against him. That's interesting. Here we go. Yeah. Sub 40 seconds. Bomb is outside. Boomich is in Sandwich playing around. Simple's getting the one kill. Boomich with the headshot on Twist, bringing down the top frag of FaZe. And now we're down below 30 seconds and they're running out of time right now, FaZe. They don't have a lot of room for error when there's just this little time on the clock. 20 seconds and Boomich, he's hanging around. They're finally going to Molotov out of position. He doesn't check anything. He goes down to rain. 15 seconds on the clock. Perfecto is in connector. Simple in the jungle. They have the cross and they have the cross right now. Nine seconds, eight seconds. Perfecto on the headshot and now Brokey on his own he can't make the cross surely he's dead he doesn't have the time anyway it's gonna be another round for navi they tie it back up working towards mid oh early nice. fight towards ramp that's brokey getting the better of simple and it's good that's another opening pick for phase but can they convert it this time brokey is i mean he, he is not afraid of simple and taking that fight straight up on the ramp didn't even push all the way up. Just a, I think it was just a str the only thing that he could see was simple in that moment. Smokes, Molotovs, trade it. Perfecto standing in the fire and nearly burning alive, but they're slowing it down. Oh, I feel like one good flash against Perfecto and he would have been gone, but all of Meister calling it back, maybe saying, I've got control here, and he certainly does. Oh, Navi might even almost have to save. They're, they're completely out of position now. Yeah. They're, they're just staying on B. That's it. Olaf did it. Olaf... Boom. One kill, and that's that. FaZe will find a 13th round here. And I've been seeing more and more players, uh, just, to, just to remark on how Perfecto played that hit, he jumping into that Van Molotov, because even though the Molotov is burning you out of that angle, it, it's just still such a strong position, especially because he knew he had that smoke to play off of, that the, the T's had to run through. I, I'm a little bit surprised FaZe canceled that, but either way, it works out, and FaZe are able to find a 13th. But you gotta love Brokey for going for those <laughs> challenges early on. And even at the end here, getting another kill just to make it even worse. Yeah. Because, I mean, if the economy is going to be banned for Na'Vi, then that's a ticket to winning the map right there. If you're on the phase side, 13 to 12 is going to be the scoreline. They're not going to go hunting beyond this point, nor probably should they. That really are, are just helping Kerrigan so much in terms of his calling. Uh, he's not necessarily set up for these, but he's doing such an such a good job that you have to tip your hat to him. And now we have lost just a bit of a step here towards the end of the half, which which is the wrong time after winning seven in a row. They've let a couple slip through for phase, and now the problem is. If that keeps happening, their economy is going to be super broken, and that could actually just be the ticket to that third map for phase. So let's see how this goes. Counter Molotov, or Counter Smoke, sorry, comes out up towards the A Palace. They've got a nice triangle set up over at the A bomb site. Simple could maybe get there if he jumps down through the middle. Yeah, but there's, o there's only one smoke left for phase. And, and they're all geared up for an A play. This is going to be a little bit dry. But Boomish. Fights against Olaf, and he takes that space. That is huge. That makes this defense so much stronger because it's now a, a one-dimensional attack. Everybody from FaZe coming out of the ramp now. The Molotov is on Electronic. It's burning him alive. He has to fight. This might find an opening for FaZe, but no. Boomich swings in to get the kill, and now everybody from Na... Oh, they're sending Twist over to the A Palace. 
just for a flash, in fact. He just throws a flash in there and runs back. I thought maybe he was going to go for a fight. Mm. Oh, and the double ops here a bit. He's, it, you can just secure so much positioning if you have this deep op in the, into the apartments. Although, it looks like Bit got forced off of the angle. He's, he's now relegated to jump spotting towards the apps, and that's not necessarily what you want to do with an op. So they might try to set him up once again, but FaZe are taking their space at mid. They've been doing a great job at getting this without losing too many players, but can they find any kind of way to make this a tactical benefit? Bormich is here just as they were setting up to enter. I think they were expecting some kind of fast B play coming out here, Navi, because they had three people in that B bomb site for quite a while. That's not happening. Rain with his back turned and Bit will take him down. And they must see that it was Bit with that AWP mid. Maybe they can guess that Timbal has the other one. Boomich walking past the timing. Crossfire set up. Broki trying to bring it back. It's going to be Electronic going down to all of Meister. Sneaking in for the window. Missed shot here. And they know that he's on the other side. But Boomich, that smoke is really helping him out right now. Flash through. What a play from all of Meister. And he goes for more. Nearly could have had Simple on top of it. It's Broki to find Bit. But from the underpass, dropping the bomb. It's perfecto. And we're back into a two on two. And they need to play for time here, Navi. 20 seconds, they have to come find Perfecto. Nice shot from Simple, and that leaves Olaf on his own. He's good. Zach. Yes, they do, and we can all recognize this setup. A little bit of a counter smoke coming out. Are they going to slow it down? It doesn't seem like it. Molotov's raining everywhere, and this is going to be the fight for the A-bomb site. Now they are coming through the middle and connector, but they could be slowed down, and Boomich has to back on out, so it's going to be a very, very swift bomb plant. And that puts the pressure right back on Navi. What a lineup, though. Boomage with a double kill. And that might shut it down. They actually had, they just needed to escape the bomb zone. And they would have had a very good after plant. But maybe that has been compromised by that little double spray down. They're out of nades on the phase side. So they can't really slow them down any longer. Perfecto with a headshot on Kerrigan to bring him down. And Brokey on his own. One versus four. He's got a deagle up here, and there's just no way that he can save this round. They're already defusing, and when he comes out, it's just an ocean of smoke on the other. Op. I mean, he has been finding a lot of opening picks, and now that is not an option in this round. Rain, though, he's going quick up catwalk. This could catch Navi off guard, but no, Bit has a read on it. It's Electronic that takes down Rain, and that's a great opener. And Simple, he spots the player deep into apartments, but does he expect the fact that Olaf is close? It doesn't look like he knows. So if he misses a shot right here, if he's baited into the kit to the shot, double scope. Yeah, he's gonna back on out. That reveals it. Pull off. All right. That is scary all on its own. Perfecto taking up his usual position. Simple's back in middle. He does like doing this. He's firing a shot, relocating himself completely. It makes it so tough to read. And with an IGL like Kerrigan, you are frequently playing the avoid simple game. This round, he makes it just so hard. And simple, that's a little bit of an interesting one-way smoke for the window. It, it makes Brokey care about it. And Kerrigan, you can see, he's, he's yeah. really worried about it. But there, there is nobody there. He slows them down. Speaking of smokes, FaZe have two of them left. And two flashbangs, and oh, what wow. a peak. Kerrigan is down. Twist nearly following into the grave. They're on the other side, but the bomb is on twist. Oh, that's a disaster. If he dies, he can't escape. 30 seconds. That just might be the game right here. Broki on his own. One versus four to try and run into the middle. He has to just kill them. He actually can't get back into the bomb side. So this is just an all-out mission. Nade at his feet, and they have a massive crossfire that he can never, ever break. Wait, He's going to get what? one of the kills.